Hey guys, it's Katie. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a weekly vlog. I had to do this last week too, where I filmed the intro after the fact because this video was actually originally a couple of different vlogs and I've decided to combine them together. So this is just gonna be kind of like a week in my life working on self-published author stuff as well as freelance editor stuff and just life stuff. So kind of back, if you've been around on my channel for a while, back to the just regular weekly vlogs that I used to do here pretty consistently. So I hope you guys enjoy if you've missed them. Yeah, let's just get straight into the vlog. If you're new here, hi, my name's Katie. I'm a freelance editor and an indie author. I haven't been vlogging a lot lately, either because I haven't been in the mood to vlog or because of the pandemic and me not really going anywhere. I don't get ready a lot of the time. And then I feel like self-conscious about vlogging when I look really gross. And I don't want that to deter me from doing a vlog if I wanted to that day. So um, I'm gonna look rough today and I'm gonna try not to let that bother me. So it's a Sunday. I'm sitting here and drinking my coffee. It's actually gonna be a work day today though. I just, I have found that going with like the standard schedule of like working nine to five through the week and then having the weekend off, it just like doesn't work for me. Some days during the week, I don't feel up to getting a lot done. And then some days over the weekend, I feel like my most productive. So I would rather just work on the days when I feel like I can get stuff done. And that happens to be a Sunday this week. So yeah, it's a Sunday morning. We got a lot to do. This morning, I've been just taking care of emails and filling out my editing calendars for the rest of the year. I was talking about this in my weekly writing vlog, how I was getting super booked up. I am officially booked through July. I have one spot left in July and someone um, rescheduled with me. So now I have one spot left in May, but honestly, I might just like not even fill that spot and just have a little bit of extra time to work on my own stuff in May. So basically I have one or two spots left. Otherwise I'm starting in August now. So that's crazy. I think that's the furthest out I've ever booked. So I'm actually working on a manuscript evaluation right now. I'm hoping to get some good progress done with her today. And then I'm also going to be working on my book that I'm currently editing because I'm hoping to get that to beta readers next month. And then I also have a video to edit for my Patreon page for our self-publishing 101 tier. The video is about like all of the different subscriptions I have and tools and programs, basically all of the things that I've bought to help me with my publishing career and my author life and basically all of the different programs and websites and subscriptions and stuff that I have that I find helpful. So we're gonna, I filmed that a while ago and I just haven't edited the video. So we're gonna edit that and hopefully get that up today. I've also been, the book that I'm editing of mine, The Marionettes, is the first book in a series. I think I've told you guys about this and my publishing plans and how I kind of wanna do, not necessarily a rapid release with the series, but I want to release the first couple of books pretty close together. How close? I don't know, it's all relative. Some people do rapid releases and they release like a book every week or every two weeks. I don't think we're gonna go that fast, but it's also not going to be like one year between book series the way they do in like traditional publishing. But I also don't think it's going to be like a six month break. So something shorter than six months, but something not like as fast as a week or two is what I'm thinking. But anyway, I've been trying to plan ahead and get everything set to go with this series in advance. So all of the books are ready to go. Not all of them, but the first couple of them. So basically all of this is to say I've been talking with this cover designer who I'm so excited to work with. And I'm gonna have her make me the first four covers all at the same time, just so I have them. Because cover designers, they can be booked so far out in advance and it can really screw with your timeline if you don't plan ahead. Like this other cover designer who I'm working with for the romantic suspense book that I wrote in January. Um, I just booked them now in February and the earliest they could get me in was October. So like, there's such a long wait time sometimes for designers that when this girl who's doing my Mary Nats series, she could get me in May. And I was like, I'm gonna take advantage of being able to get on your schedule. I want all four covers at once. And she gave me a discount for booking all of them at the same time. So anyway, I have to figure out some stuff and send it over to her and a part of my soul is about to leave my body with the invoice that I have to pay for the deposit because it's such a large order and she takes 50% at once. So I'm basically about to pay $800 for covers that I'm not gonna see <laughs> for a long time and I'm not gonna use for a long time. And that's only half. So that hurts on top of all of the other business expenses I've done this month for the anti-relationship year that comes out next month. So it's not that I don't have the money. I've saved up. I am not doing anything crazy and reckless, but still um, investing in something that's not going to come out for a long time and just hoping it'll pay off is a little bit scary. So anyway, that's what's going on. We're going to sit here, 
probably go get some breakfast in a little bit and work on this manuscript evaluation probably for the rest of this morning. We are back in the office now, obviously. It's one o'clock. I actually didn't end up working on my manuscript evaluation at all when I was sitting over there, so we're gonna do that next. I spent pretty much the whole time editing videos. I had to edit that self-pub 101 video, but then I also had to edit our book club vlog video. I haven't finished the book yet. I run a book club over my Patreon page this month. We're reading Catherine House. I haven't finished the book yet, but I've been vlogging and I just hadn't edited together any of the clips yet, so we did that. And right now, I'm actually filling out a cover brief for my cover designer for the marionettes. And so what was interesting was I was answering all of her questions and I was going to link my Pinterest board for her so she could get like an idea for the mood kind of tone of the book. And so now I'm sitting here like scrolling through my old Pinterest board and it got me like excited to revise the book again because like scrolling through these pictures reminded me of like my original idea for the book. And now looking at it like the book that I have now it's not exactly what I want it to be. It's like not exactly what I had in mind to begin with but we can get it there. So I haven't looked at this board in a while so I'm glad that I pulled it up. It kind of gave me some ideas and I think it'll be helpful to reference while I'm editing more for tone and stuff with this draft. Today is Tuesday. I just got back from a walk. I had like a nice hour long one this morning. After it being like negative temperatures with that crazy weather, it's like 60 degrees today, which is probably why I've had so many headaches, <laughs> but it was really nice. I got a little bit of work done before I went and now we're gonna get back to work. So I'm mainly focusing on editing client stuff today, but if I have time, I do wanna go back to revising my own book. Oh, good news though. If you didn't see on my Instagram, if you're not following me over there, I revealed the new cover for the anti virgin pack. This is what it looks like. You can get the new cover now. It's available as an ebook and then you can get print books from Amazon and Barnes & Noble if you want to get the new cover. So the old cover is officially gone for good. I do have some in stock on my shop on my website if you want like a special edition of the book with the original cover but now we have this one, so that's very exciting. The anti-relationship year is coming out March 30th. You can pre-order that. All the links are down below. I'm gonna sit here and work on some editing client stuff for a little bit longer. I just made a protein smoothie, and then I also have some coffee. So once we're done with all of that, I'll like go get ready for my day. But for now, we're just gonna see if we can make some progress. I have a manuscript evaluation, and then I'm also editing a poetry collection right now. Hello, we're back. I've been listening to the audiobook for my book club. We're reading Catherine house this month. I don't know if you can see that. I'm about halfway through, but do you want to hear something funny? So I got out of the shower and I couldn't find either of my cats anywhere and I was very confused. And I was worried. I was like, did they get out somehow when I got back from my walk? Like I was very confused because I know all of their usual hiding spots and so I went around the entire condo looking everywhere they could possibly be hiding and Max was under the bed. That's where she always hides. Dean can't fit under there. So I'm looking everywhere. I can't find Dean anywhere. I'm like calling his name. I'm shaking treats. And I go into my room and I hear something moving in my dresser. And I've caught him in there a few times before. He likes to lay on my clothes in the dresser drawers. And I've always thought maybe I had just forgotten to close them and that's why he's gone on there. But then I caught him in the act. Wait, let me back up. So I hear something moving in the dresser. And so I opened the drawer and he had like squeezed in there while it was open just like a little bit and I hadn't noticed him in there. So I closed it and then he got stuck in there. So I got him out and then I'm sitting there doing my makeup and I'm watching him paw open the dresser drawers. So all this time I keep thinking I'm forgetting to close them, he opens them so he can lay in my clothes. And then he got stuck in there today. So that's what happened. <laughs> it's almost noon, it is 11.57. So I'm gonna go back to client work and then hopefully this afternoon we'll have some time to work on revising the marionettes. Okay, it's now 12.45, we got a good chunk done in the manuscript evaluation, so we're gonna take a break. And by break, I mean we're gonna move over to my stuff. I don't even know the last time I updated you on the marionettes and what I said last time. Our word count right now is 50,737. I'm getting ready to send to beta readers and I think I'm gonna send like 
three or four chapters at a time. So I've polished up the first three chapters and they're ready to go. So that's what we're doing right now is we're going chapter by chapter. I know the beginning's pretty solid, so I'm not really changing anything major with these chapters. I'm assuming that will come in once we get into the later chapters. As of right now, I'm happy with the first three, so we're gonna move on to chapter four. I might email some more of my betas today to see if they would be up for starting earlier than I originally said, because I originally was gonna start in March. But now if we do like a few chapters at a time, I'm ready to send the first three chapters. So I think we're gonna sit here and get some emails sent and then get started on chapter four. Hi, I haven't updated you in a while. It is currently 5.55. I'm gonna make some dinner. We're actually gonna make like a breakfast sandwich with a bagel. I have a vegan egg in the toaster right now. We're gonna melt some vegan cheese on it and make like a breakfast kind of sandwich. I made it to like, I wanna say, chapter eight of the marionettes that I was editing. And I also sent the first three chapters to three of my beta readers today. So I'm really stuck on this draft. I just feel like I know there's something missing, but I'm too close to it and I can't see it. So I'm really hoping getting some feedback at this point will be helpful. Made a ton of progress in my manuscript evaluations. I'm really happy with that. And I actually just finished filming my second self-publishing 101 video for Patreon for this month. I filmed exactly what I'm doing to market my most recent release and exactly what my marketing budget was, where I spent my money and all of my plans and stuff for this book release. And then I'm gonna do a follow-up video after the book release, the results, how it went, and go through each thing that I did and whether it was profitable and worth it. It's really exciting, that's my 20th self-publishing 101 video, which you know what that means. It's time to put together our second guide that I sell on my website. So if you don't like the subscription style of Patreon, there will be a guide you can just purchase one time and download from my website. I'm hoping to have that up before maybe the first week of March. I'll let you guys know when it's up there. I can't remember all of the topics that we did with these last 10 videos. If you missed it, there's a guide up of the first 10 videos on my website. And then this second volume will be the second 10 videos. But there was a lot of videos on marketing this time because that's what I've been focusing on. I don't know. I always put together a sheet that has like all of the videos that are included so you guys can see that. So I'll let you know once I put that together. So anyway, we're gonna make some food. I'm gonna set up on the couch and watch some TV or something. I need a break. So I will probably just update you guys again tomorrow. Tell me the best advice you've ever gotten on publishing. Put a finger down, author edition. I dance in the desert in the porn rain. It's almost three o'clock in the afternoon. It's Wednesday. I don't know what's going on with my bangs, but um, I've just been working on editing client stuff pretty much all morning. Started to read through the marionettes. I'm gonna save that for tonight. I'm going live on my Patreon page tonight at seven o'clock and we're gonna do like writing, productivity sprints together and just kind of hang out. So I figure I'll save my project until the live show tonight. Went to Target because I had, was out of cat food, got my workout in, all that kind of stuff this morning. And I'm just gonna keep working on this for a little bit longer and then probably take a break and hang out until the live show and work on my book tonight. Also filmed a TikTok today. If you're not following me over there, I'm just at author Katie Wismer. I would appreciate it. And I still need to finish our book club read before the end of the month. So I might read that a little bit today, but I don't know how many updates I'll have for you today. I'm just sitting here doing work. I got some books in the mail though, which is very exciting. I'm going to film a book haul soon. I'm waiting on a few more, so I'm not going to show you them until I get the other ones. But I also think I'm supposed to get the proof copy for the anti-relationship year in the mail today. So that would be very exciting. Hi Google. Stop. Maxine. Hi. Dean's over there. We are setting up on the couch. I'm gonna do my live with my Patreon people over here and we're gonna do our writing sprints over here. I'm not gonna show you exactly what's on this deck. This is the book haul. I ended up getting all of the books today. I wasn't expecting that. But most excitingly, I got my proof copy for the entire relationship year. There's a clip of like my immediate reaction when I opened it in the behind the scenes vlog that'll be going up around release day. I got like weirdly emotional, but I won't make you guys wait till that vlog to see the proof. I think it looks real nice. I'm very happy with it. 
It's super cute. This is obviously the Amazon version because it has the not for resale bar, but this is our spine. I'm so excited. It has like the number two. So when they're next to each other, they'll go together. I ordered some copies of the anti virginity pact with the new cover too, but those are going to take a while to get here because author copies, they just are not a priority for Amazon and they take like weeks for them to get here for no reason. So thankfully the proof copy didn't take very long. But yeah, if you're interested in getting a print copy from Amazon, this is what it will look like. Our final copy ended up being 290 pages and I think it looks really cute formatting looks real cute sneak peek at the first page um what time is it it's 6 45 i'm starting my live at 7 so i'm gonna go get set up so that'll be it for this vlog today oh, everything is real so hit me so hit me Hit me. First a confession. With you, I feel a connection. With